Morning guys, you want to make a slide video, I'm going to show you how, let's get right into it. Right guys, so let's get straight into it then, I know everybody's time's precious, so right click on Keynote, press new presentation, and then open up one of the basic slides, click create, and then just highlight these by clicking on your mouse and just pressing the back arrow to get rid of those. Right, so first thing, we change the colour, so just press on that toggle there and just highlight it, and then just change it to a dark colour of your choice, but I have it off black because I like to use the top part of my slide to be black, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. And click shape, bring up a square, just pop it into the corner, and then just drag it up, sort of to what you think is around a quarter of the screen. Now I know it's 472 I need. Um, just go to a range and then just change that width to 472. Change that position to 1 and then change that position to 1. And then just click again and then just drag until it snaps. There you go. So that's the, they're, the, they're, the, they're the numbers you're looking for. 472 width, 1078 height and a 1 position and a 1 position. So that's that. So then what we're going to do is we're going to change the colour of those. Let's go back to style and we'll, we'll choose advanced gradient fill. Just highlight the colour there, change that to black and then highlight the other colour and change it to nickel. And then what we do is we just drag this across. This is what the advanced gradient fill is about. You can play around. Drag it to just shy of halfway and then do the same with the nickel. Just pull him, just shave halfway, and that's done. Then create another shape. We're just going to change that to white. We're already highlighted, so change it to snow. Just pop it in until it says number one. Look, if you click arrange, that'll say position one. And then just pull it across until it snaps. There you go. Now, if you want it a bit higher or lower, you can... Just toggle up or down to make it a bit higher. But that's perfect. So then another shape. Now you can choose, there's a variety of shapes you can choose on Keynote. Um, I actually got my shape from somewhere else. So if you want this shape, you'd have to find it. But this is the shape I use. I'm just going to change the colour of it before I go in so I can see it. Just change it to that for now, just so I can see what I'm doing. And then just drag it in and just pull on it. And then just centre it in the box. Lovely. Right, now I'm going to change the colour of that. And again, we'll go to make sure it's highlighted. We'll go to Advanced Gradient Fill. Toggle on one and press Dark Red. And then toggle on the other one and press Light Red. And this is what I tend to do for my slides. Just change the angle just by scrolling on that. And then just pull that one away just to give it a fade fading colour and that's sort of what my slides look like now there are a couple of other slightly cool things you can do you can put a line on your slide oh that's black so you can't see it but if you changed it to white there you go and um, but i won't be using a line but what i do sometimes do is i like to put a drop shadow in it looks really nice so there's the drop shadow obviously change it to the colour you're using which is the dark red and then just change the offset until you can start seeing it at the bottom. You see it there, look. You should be able to see it there. There you go, I think that looks pretty cool. So that's the base of the template. So what we need now is some text boxes. So bring up one text box. And that's highlighted grey, we don't want that. We want it white. So we'll get one white text box in there. And then we'll bring up another text box. And again we'll change it to white. We'll pop it just at the bottom. And we will get another text box. And this time we'll change it to dark. And we'll pop it in there. Once they snap, you know they're in the middle. So this one's going to be um, a number. And it's going to be a large number. So we can make this one quite big. So on text, you can see the size of your text there. Look. If I just type something in for now. Let's say 100 mil. Um, back to text. I think probably oh, it's not highlighted. Make sure you highlight it, guys. 
Let's scroll up. Let's try a hundred. Yeah, that's all right. And then let's make it bold as well. Nice. That can stay as it is. This one, um, I'm going to type Mexico because I know that's number 10 in the list I'm doing, which I'll get to in a minute. And just double click to highlight it. And I usually put it somewhere around 55 to 60. Let's try 60. We'll make that one bold as well. So what we're actually making is a population graph. So we'll type the word population. So you see there's the base of a slide. What we'll do, now we've got that in, before we add the country flag, we'll, what we'll do, what you've got to do is you've got to hold it outside the box and then just drag sideways on your mouse while holding down, drag down. And then CTRL, right click on your mouse and press group. That'll put that all together. And then press copy and then press paste and then run that alongside it now the position you're looking for is 482 and then press paste again and the position you're looking for is 963 which it should snap to it hasn't but I'll make it snap to it so and then 1444 there we go Make sure this Y position is 1, otherwise you'll have a problem. So that's that. Um, for now, we can ungroup these. Let's ungroup them. So just a right-click and ungroup. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into Safari. And I've got this brought up from the world data, the 30 most populated countries. We're just going to do the top 10. And like I said, I knew Mexico was in 10th position. And their total is 126.7 million. So you'll go back into there. Just get rid of that and press 126.7 million. That's that. And then I found a nice little uh, site that gives country icons. And it's a free site, a free presentation slide. Everything's free as long as you leave credit. And if you click on the country flags, close the advert, you can find Mexico's icon. And then all you do is copy that image and then paste it into this box. Now, be careful not to let anything go out of the box at the sides. So that's fine. Doesn't matter if it goes out the bottom, just not the size. And then just make a note of the size that you've set your icon. So I think 455 is a nice easy number to remember. So we'll stick at that. That's that one done. So let's go and have a look, see what's at number nine. Sorry, I'm losing myself there. So at number nine, we've got Russia at 143.4. So back to Keynote. 143.4. It'll automatically put the capital in for you on that first word. So that's Russia, 143.4. And then we need to go back into the country flags and just toggle down and select wherever R is, and there's the Russia icon. Copy that image, back to Keynote, and paste it in. And we already know the size is 455. You can actually type that if you want. You can type it in the box. So 455, and then just snap it in like that. That's that one done. So I'll just move myself across there. So that's two down. And then number eight is Bangladesh 169.4. 169.4 million. And then just change that to Bangladesh. And again, it snapped that one in. So let's go to there again and press B. 
Right, so there's no sign of the Bangladesh icon there, but you can see it's in this Google Slides app here. What you do is you click there. Sometimes they, they don't appear. If you just go into there, and there he is. You can just copy him there, and then get rid of that. Go back to Keynote, and paste him there. There he is. Like I say, you can just 455 and automatically it'll come to size. Make sure you're centered. There you go. So that's three down. And then back in. Nigeria to 13.4. And then back into there. Click in. Hopefully the app's on the main screen. And uh, there it is. Let's just copy the image. Back to Keynote. Four five five. Center in. There we go. So you see two lines. So that is basically it, guys. That is how to make a template. That's the first part of this tutorial done. Templates made. In the next part, I'll show you how to start your video off. How to animate this template to start your video off. And how to get your video going. And how to get the slides working. It's pretty simple. Keynote's a fantastic app. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on part two.